guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a mix and match haul here um, I have a bunch of stuff from all kinds of different places and I'm just gonna show you as much as I can until we hit about 20 minutes or so in this video so first of all this sweater which I love I wore it yesterday I don't have pants on yet <laughs> um, this is from Express it's in a size large I actually got it from the outlet so it was like on the cheaper side I will of course do my best to link everything um, and then it has these little zippers on the side, which is kind of dope because it opens up. It like, covers the whole butt. So, so this would be like a really good top to wear with leggings. It's a really pretty like little green color. And it has like these little sleeves that, the seam is right here. I don't know if you can see the seam. Uh, but I just pulled them up a little bit and I wore this around all day yesterday. I thought it was so cute. Took pictures with it. It should be on my Instagram. Yes, it's on my Instagram. <laughs> I've been loving the crap out of Express lately. It's not new. Um, I've been loving it for a while now as soon as I realized I could fit it. They do go up to a size 18. For the most part, for me, um, all the stores that I've been to around here, so I live in uh, Chicagoland, I mean all the stores, Geneva Commons, Fox Valley Mall, um, the outlets, the Chicago Premium Outlets, which is also in Aurora, even Schaumburg, like all of the Express stores that I've been to around here. What is that annoying sound? All the ones that I've been to around here, um, they all have up to an 18 in store and an XL. Um, so no, they don't have plus size, but they do have somewhat extended sizes for a straight size retailer. And I think they run pretty generously. Like, cause I wear 16 in their jeans and I can obviously fit into larges just fine. I mean, they're oversized, a lot of them. So, you know, if you're, let's say a 2X or even some of them, honestly, maybe a 3X, like you might be able to get into an extra large because some of them are so, so, so oversized. Um, but definitely a 2X, you're psh, in there like swimwear, girl. What I was gonna say is that I went to Express when I went to New York and I picked up two jumpsuits, one of which I wore to the Kirby Con, which hopefully I have a picture here. So comfortable, so lovely. I will link it down below. It was the perfect thing to wear. I was just so incredibly comfortable wearing this thing. It was beautiful, it was not too long on me, I'm 5'4". Um, it was wonderful. And then this green one, which I posted on Instagram with some leopard shoes. I also got those leopard shoes from Express as well. I will link all that down below. This green one I got in a size 16. Fits so nicely and it has pockets in the front so it's so disguising, like just beautiful. I would taper it a little bit at the ankle, like I might go and get it taken in, but I might not just because by the, once I post something on Instagram, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna wear it again just because I'm like, oh, well this is a waste of an opportunity to take a picture to post on Instagram. Like if I have the same outfit on, every now and again though, I will wear the hell out of an outfit outfit. Um, but yeah, those were oh, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I. I'm loving Express. Like after I'm done, my reward for working all day is going online and shopping at Express and American Eagle because they both have a sale right now. <laughs> yes. Anyway, back to this top. So this one's also a size large. I also got this one at the outlet. If you have an Express outlet around you, shop them, girl. They have the best sales, like so affordable. Um, but this is just a pretty casual, like gray top. Again, a very similar sleeve. Has the seam down here. And then, um, you know, you can adjust, make it a little longer, shorter, whatever. I just love shirts like this for the fall and winter time. Super comfortable. While I do have a lot of stuff from Express, I'm going to move on to the next retailer, which is American Eagle, because I don't want to like express you to death. Plus, if you want to see a full on Express haul, like ASAP, like fall stuff, let me know, please, because I would love to do it. I would love to do it. Um, and I shop different when I'm hauling versus when I'm just shopping for myself. So let me know ASAP. Um, anyway, this is a pair of jeans that I picked up recently from American Eagle. I have worn them once and I went in store to get them, which means that I don't know, I don't think it's all the stores, but I've been checking a lot lately and the American Eagle stores around me, like this I got from the outlet. Um, anyway, uh, um, they're carrying a 16 in store now because American Eagle goes up to a 20 if you didn't know and if you're going in store you can check the clearance racks because a lot of times people will return the bigger sizes the extended sizes and they end up on clearance because they don't actually like restock them on the shelves so they go up to an xxl and a size 20 they're very stretchy very comfortable jeans i would say they just barely edge out express for their jeans like i love american eagle jeans if i had to wear one pair of jeans like one brand for the rest of my life 
Ugh, I don't want to buy for the rest of my life because eventually I'm probably not going to have distress everything. But for now, I would totally pick American Eagle. They fit beautifully. They have so many different rises, so many different styles, so many different lengths. Like really, really, really great brand for jeans. Um, these are a, what are they called? Oh, okay. These are size 16. I did get them in a 16. Um, I was wearing an 18 for a while there, but they're, they're starting to feel a little bit like you know diaper booty by the end of the day so um these are the super high rise jeggings in a size 16 and they are very stretchy very stretchy i wasn't planning on showing you guys this top but i posted it like we did this very fall cozy looking photo lewis took it of me and it was came out so nice i loved it um but i had this sweater on and i got so many questions so this is from american eagle too and they have a bunch of different colors i walked in the other day and i only bought one thing which is Super rare for me. If I can only find one thing in a store, I just don't get in line because it's like not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth the hassle. Um, but this was so cute, I could not pass it up. So they have some other colors, some very like fall-like colors, but this was the only one that I found in XL in when I was in store. Um, although, I think I could do a large because it is a little bit on the baggier side, but it's not so big that it's, you know, like sloppy. It's just kind of oversized. So comfortable so nice you guys I think I got it I think I spent like 39 on it um but they like never have sales in store they're always online so I will link it because like I said I'm shopping American Eagle today I think I'm gonna get another color so nice so comfortable I love it I'll do my best to link it today and hopefully they have a sale on it okay I don't normally show you guys accessories um but I got this from Aldo the other day and I love it. I love Chanel bags, but I am just not the type. Like maybe if I was like a millionaire, I would do it. But I mean, when I was able to start affording like a Chanel bag, my brain was like, <laughs> girl, you ain't never gonna spend that much money on a bag. Like stop kidding yourself. And I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. If, if, if Chanel wants to like hook me up, then by all means, but Otherwise, I just don't ever see myself buying one. But I love the look of the quilted bags. Like, if there's any designer that I love, it's Chanel. And um, Aldo makes a really, really good quilted bag. They don't look like they're, I mean, do they look, they don't look fake because they don't have fake C's on them. But they look, you know, like they are definitely in the essence of a Chanel bag. I love this one, though. It's like this really pretty pinkish kind of color, like a blush tone. And um, it was $55. Aldo has really, like, beautiful bags. I buy like 90% of my bags from them because I love them. And you open it and it's got a couple of little, you know, like sections there on the inside. And it's just, it's just lovely. I'm so excited about these. I have, I think one other quilted bag from them. Um, I buy like all my bags there. And then it has a little zipper in the back. I think it's called the Menif Menifi? Menifi? I don't know. But it was $55. Um, I didn't pay $55 though because I got it from the outlet. But I'm pretty sure that it's on the regular website still too. It's <laughs> so cute. And you can also make it on um, one strap, you know, if you choose to. You can make it one strap or the two strap. And it's just, <laughs> it's just lovely. I just love it. I don't know how exciting this is, but I also picked up these socks from Aldo because I love them. These are my favorite ones to wear with, um, my shoes, like with my NMDs, I wear like ankle socks. Uh, like I have these Adidas ankle socks that I love. But with my other tennis shoes where ankle socks would just stick out a little bit too much, I start to feel like a, I don't know, old white stepdad. Um, I don't like that. So <laughs> I buy these liner socks. These ones are awesome. These are my favorite ones. I buy socks all the time, but these are my favorite ones. They have a little sticky part here in the ankle. Uh, I already took a pair out. I wore one yesterday, but I've been buying them there for years and I just, I just love these socks. <laughs> and here we have another bag very much, again, in the essence of Chanel. Um, the other one had more of like a, a squared off kind of pattern, you see? And then this one has that like one where it comes in. I've watched a lot of Chanel handbag videos. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've seen, I don't know, probably like 50. I love them, okay? But I just, I cannot bring myself to do it. And so this really, 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 really satisfies that itch that I have because they feel so nice. They're so beautiful, but I have zero guilt spending basically what usually turns out to be about 40 bucks on a bag. Like, I, there's no guilt associated here. And if this just got ripped off of my arm or something or something happened to it or whatever, like, I would not cry about it. But a Chanel bag, I might be like, don't, don't taunt to me for like, a while, thanks. 
because that would really upset me. So this one has a different strap, and this one has silver hardware. That's why I picked it up. Because my other one, actually, my other black one, also from Aldo, has black hardware on it, and I thought it was really pretty, but I like this one because it's got a little bit something to it. And I guess you could technically do a two strap on this as well if you wanted it to be a little bit shorter. Well, this is cute. Um, and then this one is just a little bit smaller than the other one. See? Just, just slightly. It's just like a scotch smaller than the other one. Um, and again, it has the two little pockets when you open it up. How cute! I need to like dress up and actually do something because I don't ever wear cute stuff like this. Oh, that one was also 55 bucks. Sorry, I forgot. I have a bunch of Tord stuff here. Just, you know, never mind the bag. But I have a bunch of Tord stuff here and I think I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna do a big Tord haul. So if you guys wanna see like an all Tord haul, let me know. I've been dying to wear this stuff though because it's been sitting in that bag for like three weeks already. Oh, what is this? I got this from Aldo too. Hold on, let's find out what else it is. Oh, okay, I got the wipes. Exciting, I know. And then, oh, is this the necklace that I bought? Oh no, these are the anklets. I'm like, we're almost out of anklet season and I bought some anklets from Aldo. Those are cute. 12 bucks, they have really pretty jewelry there. A couple weeks ago, ASOS released um, the uh, Simpsons collection on their site, and I love Simpsons stuff. So I picked some stuff up, even though I don't know how I feel about all of it. The coolest thing I got was like a set of eyes, and I think they were Bart's eyes. Um, and it was a sweater, it's not on the website anymore, but I was wearing it a lot recently. <laughs> it was in the men's section though, so this was actually out of the women's section, and it's okay. It's the clouds, you know, from the beginning, and then it says the Simpsons on it in like various kind of places here. Um, it's kind of high in the neck, it's got a really boxy cut, it makes me feel not very pretty. <laughs> what can I do with this neckline? Like, how can I cut this or something? What would you do with this neckline? Because I like an open neck. I don't like stuff to be this high up. Like, this looks and feels very weird to me. But I just thought I would show it to you in case you're a Simpsons fan and you want some stuff from them. Uh, I got that last one in a US 16 and this one too. This one I do like a little bit more. This is the Quickie Mart shirt. It's a ringer tee. Uh, it fits pretty well. And then on the back it says, I think it says, thank you, come again, right? Thank you, come again. This is not cropped like the other one. This is a pretty basic like t-shirt. This is cute. I like this. This was a good, like a good buy. Thanks ASOS. Thanks. Okay, now let's talk about Calvin Klein. I'm gonna try some of this on, but I'm not gonna try them all on for you because they are the same thing. Um, so Calvin Klein, you know classic, like Calvin Klein uh, panty and bralette sets, right? Like, <laughs> they finally make these in plus size. So you can get them at Nordstrom, at Lord & Taylor, I think. You can get them at like, maybe Macy's. I will link them down below though. Um, so I got all of the bras in a size 1X, 28 bucks regular price. And then um, they have gray, they have black, they have this baby pink color, and then they also have this like white with the black, uh, like the black writing on it color. And then for the bottoms, again, I bought the same size in all of the bottoms, but there are two different styles. So you have the like hipster style. I think I got them all in a 2X. Yes, so I got these all in a 2X. I think they have a different panty style too, but I think it was like a regular brief and I'm not about that life. So I got the hipster style in a 2X. They fit me fine. Like I said, I'm gonna try them out for you in a minute. Um, and then I also got the thong style. So these ones are $20 and the hipster ones I think are a little bit more than that. Yeah, the hipsters are $22. But I got two sets with a thong, and then I got two sets with a hipster. So let me put a set on. So it fits pretty well. I've put on the XLs before, and they were all a little on the snug side. Um, but it fits pretty well. I will say that the bottoms are not cut for me. They're not, this is not the most flattering, like, outfit for me you know I still have my other panties on too they're just it's just a black thong but I don't think this makes my body look as good <laughs> as it possibly could um but if I had gone another size up I think on the panties then it, it would have been like too big because these are not tight in any way um but just having that thick band kind of tends to squeeze in a little bit too much and it creates that like extra little bulge here which I don't like but I'm not gonna turn around because it's a thong um, but it's a really like as far as plus size goes like a straight size brand branching into plus size like this is not bad this is really cute and I'm sure I will take a cute Instagram picture or something one day but these are really cute I would wear these around the house so all right I threw some pads in here what's funny is you can cut now it looks like you can see my nipples but you definitely can't 
but without them, it, I don't know, anyway. So this is the same set, um, or rather these are the like same sizes or whatever, except these are the hipster panties, which I think fit a little bit better. They don't create that bulge quite as much, um, but they're full coverage. I do still have my underwear on underneath this. They're full, full, full coverage, <laughs> and that is not my style. Um, but I do like sleep a lot of times in like a full coverage panty, so. I still like them and they are really soft. Like these sets are very soft and comfortable. Um, so I'm glad I got them. I'm not gonna like return them or anything. What do we think? Dang, is that door been open the whole time? That's annoying. Um, so this outfit I got from Urban Outfitters. When I'm in store, the highest size I've ever seen for women is a large. I did do a Will It Fit from Urban Outfitters last winter, I think, or something like that. Um, if you're curious, they do have some stuff that will fit, and I still wear that stuff, like, during the cold months. Um, but whenever I go in store, the usually the highest size that I see is a large, but when you go online, I see extra large. I just ordered something extra large the other day. So, I don't know why they do that, but <laughs> this stuff's a large because I bought it in store. So this top is um, Tommy Hilfiger, store the pants, and so is this, which I will show you in a moment. But um, I love this little, like, I love these bands with the names on them, clearly, like, <laughs> kind of my thing right now. Um, I love it, but this stuff I feel like maybe doesn't quite fit me. The top is a large, like I said, and it is, I think it was 50 bucks. It's not cheap, like Urban Outfitters is not cheap. But every time I go there, I do get 10% off because I sign up for their email every single time that I go because it like never remembers my <laughs> information, so that's nice. Um, anyway, it's a cropped hoodie, and then the pants, the pants are what I'm talking about, are a little snug. Huh, you're too far away. Oh, my hair's so frizzy. And the pants are a little fitted. I think it's because they're gray, you know? Like, they're not super tight so that they're, like, uncomfortable, but eh, not my best look, I don't think. Anyway, it has, like, maroon and navy on the leg here and then says Tommy down the side. No pockets, but it does have the cool little band on top. Um, they are comfortable. I just don't know if this is, like, my best look, especially together, you know? So the uh, sports bra matches the bottoms here this has like the maroon no it doesn't it's red it's a different color red not that these things really match exactly but they all kind of somewhat coordinate but the sports bra again i got it in a large and this was 30 bucks so kind of pricey for a freaking stretchy little bra i mean the bra fits fine but that's because i have little boobs so they usually do fit fine <laughs> and it's got pads in here they're a little askew at the moment damn i want some indian food i don't know what made me think of that just now but Damn, I want some Indian food. A little, little chicken mocking you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, that'd be good. And last but not least, I picked up a couple of things from UGG. Um, my house shoes that I wear all day, every day, they are UGG. And I usually rebuy them once a year because I wear the crap out of them. And it's these, they're so cute. Um, the ones that I buy normally have like the extra furry stuff right here, but these ones I thought were cute and they're from the outlet, so I did not pay full price. These were like, maybe 40 bucks or something. They were pretty, um, pretty like cheap compared to the regular price on the website. Uh, but you can find discount Uggs online all over the place. So I thought I'd show you these, they're so cute. Um, they're really comfortable though. They're my favorite, favorite house shoe. I have everybody on Uggs, like everybody's got Uggs. And then I also got these, which um, every now and again, I buy stuff that I feel like it's like ugly, but I don't mind it. Like. I don't mind things that I kind of find to be unattractive. <laughs> so these shoes, I find them to be kind of ugly, much like boat shoes. I think boat shoes are ugly, but I still buy them because I still like them. So I don't know, I don't really know where I'm at here in life, but um, these I actually wore around New York already, so they look not bad considering I did not uh, do anything to them. I didn't protect them in any way, which I probably should have, but these were also on the cheaper side, these were like, I forget, but they were like on discount or whatever there, but I always buy my boots there. I buy like my ankle boots because <laughs> those always fit. The mid ones always fit. And then if I want to get the ones that go up my big old giant calf, then I get the ones with the three buttons because they stretch. So just in case you're curious and you got like big legs like me, um, those ones typically do fit. I mean, go in store and try them out or whatever, but they usually fit. And I need to get a new pair because I haven't got one in like three years <laughs> and they finally just, they look like trash. So I got to get a new pair. But that's my, I was gonna say vlog, because I'm vlogging today. P.S. I have a vlog channel in case, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Um, 
yeah, so that's my video for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this weird collection of stuff that I have been picking up in the last month or so. And I will leave the links for absolutely everything that I can down below in the description box. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a really great day. Hope your hair is not as frizzy as mine is today. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.